Okay, now we're going to uh, hot glue these modules down. The last time I did this on the prototype, I um, used glue. It took me forever to get off. So this time I'm using uh, hot glue. Now my hot glue gun is packed up. So what I'm using is my hot air wand and um, put a solder in front and then uh, secure them down. That's the plan anyway. <coughs> now, I think what I'll do is I'll start this end out there and come this way and then sockets and everything be down here or what I might do is um, just have a couple of connectors with some flying crock leads put them into whatever size um, put the batteries in whatever size uh, holder they take they hit double A's triple A's 18650's um, 9 volt PP3's Right, so all I'm going to do is literally wipe the glue down like that, like that, and uh, hopefully, in fact, what I'll do, if I start here, that's right, then you'll be able to see more of what I'm doing a lot easier. But then if I go that way, no, we'll go this way. Right, let's warm up some glue. And uh, get the first one stuck down. It doesn't take long to do, and uh, it's uh, a, a neat way of uh, keeping your hands warm on a cold day. The sun might be out now, blue, sky, blue skies with scattered clouds, but um, it does get uh, a bit warm, shall we say. Here's the first one. <coughs> I'm not going to get you to watch me um, do all these, but um, I'll do a, a couple. Now these can be quite close together because um, Connections are actually on the top. I don't want to be too close together. I'm going to find that. Um, hello? I've got a loose solar panel. Just give it a bit of a in the corner. There we go. That's a good one. Right, I'll do the rest and I'll bring you back. Okay, here's the first lot. Pull you out of it. That's it. There's the first lot. I got. There you are, people. There's uh, 12 modules, raw modules, uh, hot glue down, and uh, on the bottom here, I've got a DC to DC. Converter, uh, step down, I think it is, and I've also got a lithium uh, 18650 charging board. Um, I found they work on the medic batteries as well. That's uh, these, as you know. And um, what we've got to do now is wire it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as you can see, uh, since the last part of the video, that I've uh, been a bit busy. <clears throat> and uh, these are all secure. The holders are screwed down and glued to stop sideways movement. 
and I'm just about to put the fourth one in and uh, then we can do some uh, testing. I've done some provisional testing of the um, original layout which was haphazard, haphazard. and <coughs> stay to my, what I've got is um, uh, how am I going to show this? Ah, there we are. Right, I'll use a long thingy thing. Sticky. I'm not doing very well here. It's all dropping all over the place. Right. Can you set your act together, Raymond? <coughs> uh, this one has got a longer red end. <coughs> okay. I'm organised now. Right, the, I've only got one row hooked up. Uh, the fourth one I should be uh, showing how I do it in a minute. But um, the output, I've got um, a USB um, 4.2 volt charger. Uh, go to the socket and this um, cell uh, is um, about 4 volts I think it is but when I put the dead cells denoted by a big black dot <coughs> uh, into the four sockets and it was all uh, running I actually had when I put the cell in a charging LED light. I left it overnight and it had put 120 millivolts into this um, cell. Now, <coughs> excuse me, how effective that's going to be at charging charge, rechargeable cells, I won't know until I've got all these hooked up. And what I'm going to do, as I've had um, a charging indication with four, then what I'll do is I'll put another four in parallel to see if that is going to maintain and increase that charging level. If it does, great, I'll go on to the third one. Um, again, I don't know which way around I'm going to be doing this yet. Uh, it's all experimental, totally. Um, this is a proof of concept only. I'm not saying this will work 100%. It may only work 1%. I've no idea yet. So uh, we'll soon find out, I hope. Now, I'm doing the four. And then once I've done that, as, as I said, I should be serialising the second row. And they will be going in parallel. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, that's the solar, solar panel side. Now, the LED side, I'm just going to parallel over like that. Whether that will give me a little bit more, I've no idea. None whatsoever. Um, it may give me a little bit more current, no idea. So, uh, everything to play for. So let's get on and uh, hook this fourth one in, which will also be going in like that. And then uh, we'll see what voltages we can get out of it. Try doing it the other way around, Raymond. You might get somewhere. Why did I pick this up? My red pointy thing. I used my finger, didn't I? Well, if the um No, I'll check that now I think. Yeah, I'll check that now. If that part of the video is crap, then uh, I'll do it again with my pointy thing. Otherwise I'll come back to you.
Alzheimer's is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I did use this. Okay. Oh, pardon me. No. Let's get on with it, Raymond. Right, first of all, we'll screw this down. I'm not uh, doing measurements or anything like that. I'm just uh, I'm just um, eyeballing it and uh, you'd have thought I'd have uh, found the screws out, wouldn't you? Ah, there's one. I'm only using a, a small wood screw to secure the uh, socket, uh, 18650 socket. <coughs> now, what will happen with these 18650 sockets is that for double A's, triple A's, um, Small 12 volt batteries. I shall um, just have a, some connectors over here to um, put in parallel with these so that if I'm going to run, um, say, a 9 volt battery, I can put a 9 volt connector in there and uh, charge it that way and uh, other things. Anyway, let's get on with this Raymond. Do one thing at a time. And how to extend the um, negative cable on uh, this socket. Because on a previous project I cut it off short. Prepare the, the little board and just I just scratch it on the surface just to give the glue something to bind to properly. Um, oops. As I said uh, earlier on in the video. My glue gun packed up, and I uh, thought I'd give this a try. It works quite well actually. And the little stubbles of um, glue that remain, um, I can uh, basically weld them together. Oh, and um, the overnight test I did brought this one down from, I think it was 2 volts, 2.6 volts, somewhere around there. Um, when this is finished, I'll be showing you the voltages of the cells that I'm making safe. And there's only eight, about 600 millivolts in there. Nothing to write home about. I could short that out, but there'd be nothing. Oh, that's nice and tight. Oh, the other thing I've, been, I've done is um, I've been putting 100 ohm resistors in series with the um, 
input, mainly because what I don't, did was I took a fully charged uh, 8650 and then started at um, I think it was 1.5k and gradually worked down where the 2N3904 transistor doesn't get warm. <coughs> so um, I don't, I've got a I have an LED that's trying to escape. One moment, please. While I lock it in its chains again. I'm going to uh, extricate it. And uh, replace it. Sorry, died. The last couple of days, and for what reason I have no idea. Hmm. Hang on. Hang a boot. The original collector was shorted when I did that repair. Right, let's just uh, connect all this back up. I'm not going to glue it down or anything, I'll just remove it, see if it'll work. If it works, then I'll uh, put it in properly. Okay, and that was why the um, Is reading after the hundred um, resistor. I'm gonna have another one here, right? So we use the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mainly the ugly is doing the work. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we have lift off. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> 